this is actually um, a picture. I'm, I'm going to ba basically be talking about home and how that's affected my work. This is a picture that I think of when I think of home. It's my mother and her three sisters at their grandparents' house. So slightly after this picture, um, everyone went their separate ways. Their mother died. My parents got a divorce. My mom joined the army. And I moved back and forth throughout the country. And so in grad school, I tried to address a lot of that by looking um, at my family and painting a lot of portraits of them. And then over the years, those portraits have become very different from the subjects themselves as those people age. So I'm kind of interested in the passage of time. And then with this work, I also wanted to look at photographs and how photographs capture a moment in time, but that moment will never be relived again. But rather than actually looking at the image themselves, I was really interested in the notes that we left for each other on the backs of the photographs. So I had an entire album of, of these images that I actually recreated. I also went around for a while and collected a lot of food from family gatherings and put them into these little plexiglass plates that then molded over time. So, um, so that's also the passage of time. But what I found interesting is that like, these are things that are both a, a moment stored in a plexiglass, but also something that we actually have in our bodies as well. Um, I also, during grad school, collected a lot of uh, audio files of life itself. So things like mom in the shower or riding home from school. Um, and these amassed into years of moments of our lives. This particular image um, is from my father and grandfather's vacation home on the James River in Virginia. And so a hurricane came through and totally destroyed the house. And my father and I went and rummaged through a lot of the leftovers and actually built a shack on the site of our former cottage. This particular image, because I wanted to go outside of my family and actually have other people relate to it, is another family in Virginia that live out in the middle of nowhere near my aunt and uncle. And so I collaborated with this woman who was like 80. And we looked through all of her family photographs and um, I ended up making an on-site installation and then also having an installation in a gallery in Maryland. And you can also see that there are actually um, jars of food from the 1970s that I found in there. So there are all sorts of treasures that, um, that I was able to discover in this, in this woman's life. This is here in Grand Rapids. And so another project that I was doing during a site lab that was in um, the public museum was working with the museum and finding all sorts of goodies that they had in their collection, but then also recreating a lot of things that didn't really belong in the collection, but kind of telling the story, mixing fact and fiction, and um, representing the history of the museum itself. And these are all sorts of um, animals that I jarred um, and, and made them look as though they were from the 1800s, but in reality, I ordered them off of the internet and put them in olive jars and various other things. <laughs> I still have them. Um, another work that I've been working on for since I can't remember when is actually um, collecting crosses by the side of the road. So I travel a lot in a car and I'll often pull over at rather dangerous spots and take pictures of, of roadside crosses into a collection that ended up with that installation. This is another installation um, that has to do with Mexico and um, femicide within particularly Ciudad Juarez. And so I'm taking the names of women who have died and then embroidered them into shirts until they amass into a large scale installation. And then off to the side of the galleries, there are individual um, altars to individual victims so that you can kind of connect with not only this, this sort of mass happening, but also individual women and knowing the stories of their lives by some of the things that are actually like left in the altars. Um, another work that I did is called Nombre. And so I am looking now into Chilean, um, I guess you could say genocide to a certain extent, and the dictatorship that kind of spanned 1973 to 1990, and a lot of the people who disappeared during that time. So I wrote their names out and then covered the entire wall with each name. And so the ink that I'm using is actually um, infused with the national flower of Chile that kind of references life and death and various like indigenous myths and how that relates to the people whose names I'm writing. Oh, 
I'm the little head of the game. And this is a pig's foot. Um, I'm really interested in pigs, partially because it's an animal that's like filthy in one context, but redeemed in another context, and how that plays into um, national religion, or well, religion and culture and history, et cetera. Um, so with this particular piece, I am carving designs into a pig's foot from the Cusco school, which was a colonial traditional school um, of painting. This is not that. This is um, me dumping my own breast milk out into the ground. Why am I showing you this? Because um, I am interested in using what I am now, which is a mother, and, um, and then having that relate to a lot of my work. This is also another piece that sort of relates to that. It is human hair and burlap. And so it's sort of this exploration of, um, of basically the passage of time within a woman's life and sort of lost desires. Um, it's called Modern Day Magdalene. And this, I believe this is the final one, um, is this circular pattern, again, made with pig's blood. Um, so I'm kind of interested in how drawing can become a ritual that occurs over a period of time. So rather than just creating an image, it becomes my time spent with that particular drawing. Just kidding, it's not the last one. So this is me filing a brick. So I'm kind of interested in that idea of ritual, but ritual to what extent? And so this is kind of like a ridiculous gesture in terms of like, why would I file a brick? It takes a long time. It's not that fun and it's hard. Um, so, so that's kind of life itself. And that's the end, thank you.